Hello everyone. This is Dr. Vishal Kewali from Queen's University, Kingston, Canada. It's good to be back with you guys again. Uh, today, I wanted to thoughts upon something that I recently read in BMJ, which is about the revolving door between the FDA and the industry. And I don't think this is uh, just the case with the FDA alone, but I think this is a problem with many regulators in the world. And what that investigation shows, as well as what we have known uh, for a long time, including in the FDA oncology, is that people who have been working for the FDA in important capacities, in important decision-making capacities, where they are making decisions about whether a drug or a device should be approved or not. These are important decisions that are affecting millions of lives, uh, not only if we are talking about the FDA, not only in, in US, but the FDA's decisions have repercussions all over the world as well. Uh, so these are very important decision-making processes. And a decision either way can affect millions of lives. And it has huge financial implications too. You get one drug approved, it's billions of dollars in sales every year. So we would want a decision like that to be completely free of bias and based on scientific evidence alone without any external factors affecting the decisions. For the huge amount of human lives cost as well as the financial cost that is at stake. And we usually believe that's the case. And usually the conflict of interest policy at the regulators, uh, of the regulators in these regulating bodies seems to be good enough in the sense that the regulators cannot have a direct financial conflict of interest with the industry, which makes sense, which is important. But what we are seeing lately is that these experts working for FDA or for the regulators can quit their job at the FDA and immediately start a new position at the industry, at the pharma, the very next day. There is no sort of cooling off period. So what we have seen recently is with, with the FDA oncology as well, uh, because we are talking about oncology drugs, is that an export will work for the FDA until today and from tomorrow, that expert will start working for the industry or for the pharma. There is no cooling up period in between. So that is what we are talking about when we say the revolving door between the regulators and the industry. Now, why is that problematic? It is problematic for so many reasons. As you can see, many people who have ambitions to work for the industry are now looking at working at the FDA as a stepping stool to improve their credibility and experience to, to pad their CV, to convince the industry that they are, uh, they are an export. Uh, and the industry loves to hire these people because the industry wants to submit their drug for approval to these regulators. And if they can get someone who has been working as a regulator until yesterday, then that person has absolutely all the experience and education that is needed to get a drug approved. That person has the insider info, so to speak, on how a drug gets approved, what type of discussions undergo for that approval. And that person will bring all that experience for the industry. So when you're looking at a future career option and you think that you want to work for the industry in the future, and right now you're working for the regulator, then are you going to take strong decisions that may not be in the industry's benefit? No because you don't want to be seen as unfriendly to the industry, because that's your ultimate goal. Tomorrow you want to go to um, work for the industry, then why would you make a decision that denies approval today? You would want to improve your chances of getting hired by the industry by, by approving most of the drugs, by being seen as very friendly to the industry. And I think that is deeply problematic. If you think about this, within the industry sector, within the industry sector itself, like they have several legal arrangements where if you're working for company A until today, you cannot directly go to company B tomorrow to a rival company and you start working for them on a similar product or and there will be a cooling off period or there will be a legal binding agreement where you cannot disclose what you have been doing for the previous company and so on. But here, it's such an important decision making institution 
you can be working for the FDA until today, and from tomorrow you can start working for the industry. I I think that's a huge huge conflict of interest, and this revolving door does not help the public. It only helps the industry. It only helps the person who uh, is going to work for the industry and and uh, on lots of money, uh, highlighting their experience of working as a regulator. Um, I think there needs to be some legislative changes to prevent people who have worked for the regulators to work for the industry. I'm not saying that it should be banned forever, but it's, at least there should be a cooling off period, like 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, before the person who has worked for the FDA can immediately start working for the uh, industry. So I think this is something that uh, we need to be careful about. And I just wanted to highlight that issue um, through today's uh, blog. And I would also encourage uh, people to read the BMJ uh, article about uh, the FDA revolving door.